Good morning, Kestros. Let's go to correct our emoji from yesterday when we were doing our quiz. And we are having four questions and then we need to choose from A, B or C to see which one was the correct. We were looking at properties of numbers. We were looking at prime numbers, composite numbers, at factors, multiples. So let's go to start with our question one. Grab your pen and let's go to mark it. On your question one, you had to look at prime numbers, okay? So you had number 9, 11 and 15 and then you had to think, well actually I remember that prime number is those that has exactly two factors. What happened with 9? 9, 3 is as well a factor, so it's not a prime number. 11? Yes. You can only get 11 by, by timing 1 times 11 and 11 times 1, so only two factors. 15? I have number five and number um, three as well. So for the first one, your answer is B. Okay, it's going to move to number two. On number two, you have to find a composite numbers. And composite number is exactly the opposite. So it's not only two factors, it's more than two factors, yeah? Five. Five is a prime number because you can only get it by dividing it um, by one and by five. Six, six you can divide it by two, by one, by three, by six. At the minute, four factors. So this is a composite number. What happened with seven? Is seven as well a composite number? Seven, you can divide it by one and by seven. So my answer is B. Okay, we have a BB so far, let's going to go for number three. Number three, you have to find 30 as a product of, and you have to use prime factors, prime numbers as factors. So let's going to look at my first option, five times six, yeah, 30, but then, Five is a prime number, but six is not a prime number. So A cannot be. It's going to go for B. Three times 10, yeah, 30. But three is a prime number, but 10, you can divide 10 by five and by two. So it's not a prime number. So my answer is C. Let's go to see why. Two, two is a prime number. You get to dividing two and dividing but and dividing it by two and dividing it by one exactly two factors three you can divide it by three and you can divide it by one prime number and five you can divide it by five and you can divide it by one so your answer should be c okay let's going to go for our last one at the minute we have b b c let's see uh, on your last one, you have to find a prime number as well. What happened is that these prime numbers goes up to 100. So it's not as easy as the ones that we were doing before, up to 20. Let's try to see. Prime number, only two factors, 29. Is 29 in any of the timetables that I know? No, not that I know of. So the minute it could be, let's going to go for 39. Will 39 be in any of the timetables that I know? It's not, but I have three times 10 is 30. Three times 11 is 33. Three times 12 is 36. Three times 13, 39. So it will be divided by 13. So this is not. What about 49? Is 49 in any of the timetables that I know so far? Yeah, six times seven, six times seven is 49. So I cannot have that as a prime number either. So my only answer is 29 because 29 can only be divided by 29 and you get one and by one and you get 29. So that's it. Let's go to see our MOT from today and we are going to be looking at different numbers. What type of numbers am I going to be looking at? So today is the 19th. 
of the 1st of the 21st and we are doing our MOT where we are going to be looking at square numbers. Now the numbers that looks like a square that have corners, four corners, so don't worry, it's not that type of numbers. Let's see what it means. So, I want you to be with me when I am doing this. If I have one, two, one, two. I have four coins. I have one row of two coins times another row of two coins. 2 times 2 is 4. I have in total 4. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if you connect these arrays, you will create a perfect square. Because 2 times 2, 2 times itself, you can put it like that. You have 2, how many times? 2. 2 times 2. You have 2 two times itself and that means two times two is four that is why is called square number okay when you put the number two on the top so let's go to see if I have now one two three four coins and I have one two three Four coins, one, two, three, four coins. Now I'm going to do this row as well of four, this row as well of four, and this row as well of four. Let's going to see what I've created again. I have created a perfect square because it is equal four in one side and four in another uh, in the other side. So I have a square same on its same length on its size so i have one two three four and i have one two three four so i have four times four so i have four twice four times itself four times four two times two fours so four times four is sixteen 4 times 4 is 16. Remember that this is not 4 times 2 because 4 times 2 will look like this. Is this a square? No. This is a rectangle because this side is longer. So when you say 4 square, that is 4 times itself. So 2 times that number. Okay? Not two times this number, that number multiply itself twice. Can you see? One four and another four. So, can you try to do this for me? Could you do the answer of six square? Remember that we times six by itself once. And can you try to do nine square? Go for it. Play it again when you're ready. Okay, so we were looking at the square numbers and then we're looking at a square number look like putting a two on the top of that number and then it means that it needs to be time by itself. So that number you'll find it twice, okay? That number time by itself once more. So. It's called a square number, we see that it is because we have 1 and 2, 1 and 2, and then if you join the array, it creates a perfect square, because it has the same in one side, same in the other side. Same with 4 and 4. 4 times 4, 4 squared 16. Your work was trying to find 6 square, which it will be the same as 6 times 6, which it will be the same as absolutely right 36 what about nine square nine square remember that that means that is time by itself so you have two nines you have two nines nine times nine is 81 you see not that 
trick is it? That is the reason why it's a square, but you will find it as a number two on the top. Can you find today your work is going to be? Can you try to find the answer of these square numbers? The first one that you need to find is five square, three square, eight square, one square, and the last one, 10 square. Okay, have a go at it and I'll see you tomorrow when we correct it. Adios!